labda swala la elimu tutalisikia kwa uzuri zaidi kutoka kwa profesa Majori kwa sababu uh, sasa nadhani tum uh, tumsikie yeye anaenda kwa kiki kitabu cha um, yeah the the travels of the Tanzanian teacher ya sikana hata hilo 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 nani huo huo uhaya wangu hapa kwenye pronunciation <laughs> professor ataurekebisha vizuri zaidi karibu sana professor asante sana uh, mimi napenda kusimama uh, nashukuru sana uh, kwa kukaribisha kushiriki katika hiyo eh ya kongomano eh nimeandika pia kwa kiingereza sehemu nita soma ile ya kiingereza sehemu nita jaribu tafsiri um If I begin by saying, inspiring in this moment of cynicism and or despair to read the passion, commitment and love of learning and teaching expressed in this book as well as rigorous and critical thought and analysis. And I also want to share wakati Karim na yeye anaanza kufundisha hata wakati alikuwa mwanafunzi na mimi naanza kufundisha pale chuo kikuu. Kwa hiyo ikiwa na muda nitashare kidogo yale mapambano ambayo wengine tulifanya katika idara ya elimu. Yeye amesema ya elimu haijabadilika. Upeni kwamba ningemkosoa tulikuwa tunapambana. Eh lakini ndio hivyo. Hakuna mwisho wa majadiliano na ndugu wetu kati ya Mehaj. I had a summary of the book. I think there's not time to talk about it lakini hiki kitabu kinaeleza alivyokuwa kwanza volunteer teacher hata alipokuwa bado e katika shule ya upper primary school pamoja secondary mpaka chuo kikuu alikuwa ana not only individual tutoring katika hesabu maana hesabu ilikuwa passion yake pia tangu utotoni lakini pia ku run group tutorials and always ni kujitolea kwa hiyo tukikumbuka kwamba tupo katika enzi za bahasha maisha ya Karim Haji inatukumbusha maisha ya David kwa wakati ule na yeye anasema vile vile. Maana sio yeye tu alikuwa anaeleza jinsi wengi wanafunzi na walimu vijana huko toa kikuu miaka ya 60 sabini walikuwa wanajitolea kufanya mambo ya elimu ya watu wazima na kadhalika. Uh, the methodology in the format of the book eh, ni instructive ni muhimu. Eh, anaeleza kwamba katika epistemology ana sections nyingi kuhusu epistemology methodology of writing of history of doing research kwamba tukiangalia memories zetu kweli tuna makosa mengi na akivaka crisis mpaka na appendix a and b ana site co2 wali bourgeois conservatives i can hear hata ndugu zake akina isa chifu na wengine wamekosa what katika kumbukumbu zao imetokea nini nani amehusika wanataja wengine ambao walikuwa hawapo chuo kikuu wakati ule sasa ni mfano kwa mimi wakati nataka kuandika historia zangu mapambano tu wa kikuu na sina CV yangu ya zamani zamani sasa hivi I mean ipo but I don't keep good records kama professor Hedge yeye ana ametumia diary zake eh ma document mbalimbali barua eh na kadhalika pamoja na kuhoji watu kwa hiyo ni mfano kwa mbili habari ya scientific rigor ni kwa sisi sote hata kuandishi hata watu wa historia na kadhalika. Uh, the main issues he talking about swala la pedagogy. E, ni muhimu sana kwake na kwa sisi sote ambao tumejaribu kuleta mabadiliko mpaka leo katika elimu mafunzo na wengine tunaongea baada ya ragabishi na kadhalika. Yeye alikuwa anafanya vidi vidi wakati uli wake. Na of course mapambano katika itikadi itikadi ya ujamaa vizibi ubepadi au ubepadi ubeberu e, anaongea juu ya socialism or state capitalism education with self reliance or oppression e, throughout the book ni very strong critique of bureaucratic tendencies ikiwa e, katika chuo kikuu au chuo chochote katika shule katika maisha yetu katika local government alipokwenda Sumbawanga na kadhalika e, and of course anaongea sana kuhusu impact of donor dependency and the zili again to the to some mpaka leo tukiangalia main issues um okay nime kuish kusema hii habari ya muhim ya kuna empirical fact and our statistics sio tu kusema msimamo wetu je tuna nini ya kutetea msimamo wetu 
Now we have to be careful because of course the old Maria Jumbo La Kwanza kwa watu wala wetu na wafadhili kugongea habari ya we want to have the, the statistics. Of course now we don't know who can produce statistics but anyway. Um, and then eh, aliongea sana katika main issues. Of course anaongea juu ya jinsi ya elimu na shuka. Eh, na kwa nini na shuka na jabu ni kwamba wakati wa mwanzo tulikuwa na shule na, na universities na nini chache lakini na walimu chache lakini level of education ilikuwa juu eh alafu sasa tumeona universities zimepanua wanafunzi wamepanua walimu hawajapanua sawa sawa lakini tunaona kwamba ni hii ile level of education ina shuka anasema sana mimi nakumbuka siku moja nilimtembelea na na mgeni wangu nadhani mjukuu mmoja na nafurahi mjukuu wangu mwingine ameingia sasa hivi. Em <laughs> akamuliza swali la kwanza. We shuleni unapewa kitabu? Can you tell me the title of the books that you have? Na huyu alikuwa mwanafunzi wa sua actually the extended mjukuu. Sasa in the book anaongea sana hii habari ya kuna vitabu na maandishi gani au learning materials ambayo ni muhimu katika kufundisha um, anaeleza kuhusu swala elimu ya kujitegemea um, examples ya uh, jinsi watu shuleni walivyokazana na wengi walikuwa vijana vijana ambao wamesoma pamoja baadaye wakaendelea huko shuleni kujaribu kuleta mabadiliko pamoja na kikundi chake But then and I said of course he knew seal the norm seal the regular na mimi kama iko today iko na na nafasi ni ningalipende pia kufafanua maana mimi naamini wengi ambao wamejaribu kutegeleza elimu ya kujitegemea mpaka leo sio katika darasa it's not in formal education it's an out of formal education leo ragibishi na kadhalika but then let me quote what he says in spite of those efforts Despite the fine political rhetoric in ESR, Education for Self Reliance, Tanzania had a chaos ridden educational system lacking a sense of direction. He wrote, he wrote that based upon his experiences in the 60s and 70s. I can add it to Mkono Pakaleo. Alafu, I want to make a point here. But throughout the book, Hapana na Kusu Akibaga Crisis, Nanini, and I was very critical of Marim Yedeli. Eh, kwa mfano wakati wa crisis ya kibaga at a pivotal moment yeye yeah, anasema lazima msimamo wa council ibaki in other words he was rusticated harusi wiki kujitenda alikuwa anaweza kubadilisha mambo ni mwalimu ambaye walimu wengine ambao to the or that's what to focus with kazini ni yeye tu ametuokoa kwa ni swali ya kusema kwa nini wakati huu hakusema jamani msikilize huyu kijana but it's not just the issue of the university and and, uh, and I occupy a crisis kuna sema mbani mbani anazungumzia kwamba madim the, the rhetoric the principles which wengi to mebeba mpaka leo they're going inspiring muhim like the basic contradictions in the practical politics that he actually practices Uh, let me read a few of his basic principles <coughs> in the book because I find them inspiring. In this moment of cynicism to read somebody who loves learning and teaching and working with other people. An academic is foremost a human being and especially in a poor nation like ours <coughs> endowed with the responsibility to devote his or her energy to further the well-being of his fellow human beings page 82 his very first sentence in the preface reads teaching has been a veritable love of my life and then a theme that runs right through in his words on page 137 transformation by education can occur only if accompanied by complementary transformations in the social economic and political facets of society so in other words kadri tuna vijana vikulishi mapenduzi katika elimu na kutumia ragabishi na kadhalika nje na ndani ya shule na vyo na kadhalika hii haitoshi bila kupambana na 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 nani tabaka na swala baguzi rangi jinsi na kadhalika ili yoko katika uchumi katika siasa lazima yote iwe pamoja katika swala mabadiliko makubwa eh 
Sasa, he has fundamentals of teaching, but I'm not sure if there's time. Love your subject. Penda ni hile subject yako. Heshim wanafunzi wako. Adhere to high academic standards. Integrate theory and practice ideas and facts. And inject stories. Explain this material. Now it's very interesting on the issue of high academic standards. Kila mahali alipokuwa na fundisho na mpaka mwisho alipokuwa sio mwisho hata alipokuwa pale National Institute of Transport and then badai Muhimbili University. Wali mwingine sio wanafunzi tu. Wali mwingine walikuwa na wanajaribu kumwambia jamani dagaza kidogo. Mbona you set such high standard. And it was kind of, you know wengine ni kama wanazoea ukijaribu kudai excellence itakuwa kazi zaidi kwako kama mali. Kwa acha tu, acha tu, wanafunzi wanashindwa. Sasa hii ni kifupi, anaeleza practical cases. Na jinsi yeye amesema no I'm keeping my standards. Na wali mwenzake wengine hawako furai. That was my own experience also. I can remember uh, teaching at the university and here I'm getting into my own experience teaching at the university. Ten years in the Department of Education and then moving on to IDS. And I remember uh, one course that was sort of mine, meaning ours with the students, was one called Social Psychology of Learning or Education. And it was really a political economy. And it was run as group work, a participatory kind of approaches in pedagogy, and so on. I love it was a seminar. It was run like a seminar. In other words, to reading this, to know some what those writings, and then to Najadi Pamodia. So one day in the Department of Education, uh, the other thing is Ukiwa can progressive in those days, maybe until today, in a, in a department which is basically very conservative. Mina mi antike tuliko na vita. Vidi are the normal bourgeois conservative fellow lecturers, what Tanzania, I'm not talking about Wali Wangereza, Pamodia, Sisi Wangere, about 20 to the Tambua. Either Marxist, socialist, being a teacher, such as transformative feminist. Open war. We are going to have to be in Ambiwa, but I want to fund it, such as my name for any, and I to Ambiwa, who seems to be the Yule Mama, Mana Yotini, Marxist, Hai Fai, Hatakiro. Open war. Sasa, Katika Mkutanova, Wali Medara, the subject came up, Kwamba, Mbona. Wanafunzi wanasoma mno kwa ajili ya somo ya social psychology. So ndio wanasema hii ndio sababu hawezi kusoma kwa masomo yetu. Kwa hiyo mimi nimerudi kuwauliza wanafunzi jamani, is it true kwamba reading list yangu ni ndefu sababu mimi nikiangalia reading list ya what? Naona ni sawa. Wanafunzi wamesema mwalimu ni sawa. The reading lists are the same. Tafauti kwamba katika darasa lako lazima usome Sijui naleweka. Ni mambo ya pedagogy, mambo ya methodology, mambo ya kuheshimu, mambo kutambua kwamba kazi yetu as educators, as learners ni kuwawezesha watu tunaoshiriki nao kutumia bongo yao kufikiri, kujiendeleza vizuri, kupenda kujifunza. And the only way you can do that is to create a situation where people have to do it. Ndio ni sehemu ya ya elimu Anyway, um, maybe my, my last story is only a personal one that Nibata uh, Nafasi Kufundisha Katikas, something called Secondary School Research Project. Mimi na wanafunzi ambao ni Wayalim. Mimi mefundisha jangwani miyaka mitatu wakati na fundisha chuokeku in the Yedari Elim. Kwa mako wa kwanza, first kilatu cha kwanza, chapiti cha tatu. Na tulikuwa what? Pamoja my fellow research teachers who were student teachers during teaching practice to nashiriki ana na walim wa wanaingia darasa letu sisi tunawafata bao tunaangalia wanavyofundisha and in the end we wrote a paper that was called the colonization process in our secondary schools alafu tulitoa mrajesho katika mikutano ya walim katika kila shule eh sasa baada baya mume wa mwalimu mkuu wa shule moja alikuwa big officer katika wizara ya elimu Alipofata, aliposomi ile, ile barua, ami ile paper yangu, haikuchua muda, nimeitwa na mwalimu mkuu wa jangwani, maji, angelia, wanakufukuza shuleni, 
e, na barua inasema nini kutoka wezari ya elimu inasema mimi naongoza na fundisha walimu sera tofauti na sera ya serikali yetu what was the issue about and they tried to close the whole project of secondary school research project the issue was not we walimu about to shiriki na nao walikuwa na dai wawe na chombo chao cha walimu kusio tu kudai haki zao kujadili kuhusu walimu kudieleza na kukaa pamoja they wanted their own teachers union and we were repeating what they wanted okay in our paper lakini hii ilikuwa hatari kwa serikali hawakutaka wametufukuza lakini nafurahi baada ya muda mfupi ili bidi waanzishe wakubali walimu kuanzisha the Tanzania Teachers Union. Eh, nimalizia hapa. Nashukuru sana. If I just say, mambo ambayo tunajifunza kutokana hiki kitabu cha Herj. Sema bila kuogopa. Maisha yake yote ni sema bila kuogopa. Mpaka leo kama alivyo sema ndugu yetu generali. Yani, his, what, to me, I feel like one thing keeping him alive ni le passion ya kushare through writing and speaking his life and his experiences. Sema bila kuagopa. Um, another one is this issue of high standards of excellence. Mana inchi zetu za Tanzania na inchi nige Afrika tupo kapembezone wa dunia yetu wana kuziri kupoda. Watafarai sana kama edhi metu wana ziri kushuka. Sisi wengine tunita ni de-skilling of education. Kazi yetu ni kudai excellence in education. And mara nyingine sio wanafunzi tu ambao hawataki ni walimu sababu ukifanya hivi unabii wao wafanye kazi zaidi. Lakini hii ndio ni muhimu. And the other thing is which I haven't really mentioned it yet but it is like to me reading this book really emphasizes or you learn through it uh, the kindness ukarimu upendo of Karim Herj. He talks about volunteering, but it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it doesn't sound right in English. Ni jinsi anavyo pokeo wageni, ni jinsi anavyo ish, ni kwa upendo na ukarim. Kwa hiyo kumbe, unaweza kuwa very critical analyst. Unaongea bila waga wa watu, hata kiwa rafiki nrugu wa nani, uchasema unachuona ni sawa. Unadai mabadiliko, ni mabadiliko. At the same time, una upendo na ukarimu kwa vote. Ni mfano kwa vote. Asante sana. Asante sana, Prof. Majori. Actually, muda siwa rafikietu sana, lakini nikawa ni maopo kukatisha maapi likuwa na shusha nondo za maana kweli. Saba na watu antaku mfamu, Prof. Karim Hirsch ndo maana nikashindwa kukukata. <laughs> uh, sasa uh, sitajaribu hata kidogo kumwagia maji uh, uhakiki uliofanya. Uh, nataka tu watu wakumbuke kwamba uh, wanataalamu wanatakiwa wawe waongee bila uoga, wawe na upendo na ukarimu, lakini vile vile tudai elimu bora. Hayo ni mambo msingi sana ambayo anayasisitiza Profesor Ava, kutokana na uhakiki wa kitabu cha cha, cha Profesor Karim Hirsch.